going on everybody welcome back to the channel a couple little updates we got our greenhouses set up i did record um most of this but the audio from the mic didn't come through for some reason anyway we i got the greenhouses set up all three of them and they're all growing lettuce we also got this field uh taken care of with a mulcher i did get some new equipment i got this uh yellow ram here it's pretty loud but it's a cool little mod i got this water trailer i did get this uh small trailer it's a for pallets uh probably i'll probably use it to run down to the to the shop and pick up any fertilizer or seed bag pallets whenever we need them i also bought some land down here this all this the reason i bought this land is because i'll be putting the the dairy barns down here and i said barns because i want to put a dairy barn for milk production and i also want to put a cow barn somewhere here for beef cows uh the land did come with this field 73 right here i do have some equipment here as you can see i did uh lease a sugar beet harvester I will be selling the sugar beets right away, so we'll get rid of them and prep the field just like the other ones over here, get them ready for the spring and then for planting. I did some passes on each end just to try to make it easier to turn around because this harvester is pretty big and there's really no not much room to turn around, but I'm going to jump back to the farm, pick up the auger wagon and head down to the field and empty the harvester so we can keep going on that okay so I didn't even notice uh, the auger wagon that I brought down does not uh, does not collect the uh, sugar beet so I I went ahead and ran down to the shop and picked up uh, this one that actually does so I leased it 400 bucks let's go ahead and hook this trailer up and unload that harvester unfortunately the trailer only grabs about 18,000 liters we still got about 10,000 in the harvester, which is 36% full. So that should that should give us enough time to go and unload or take it to the cell point and get rid of it and come back for another load. So it looks like we're gonna be taking quite a bit of trips. I am gonna put a worker to keep going on the field while I take this to the cell point and come back. And we are taking it just down the street here. I got the place tagged. It's uh, Feed and Grain, I believe. Yeah, Feed and Grain South. I did choose this one because it's the closest uh, to the field. Also something I would prefer doing is uh, taking any crop to sell in a semi and, and trailer rather than driving a tractor around. So about 4200 each load. Not, not too bad I guess. Um, so I ended up leasing a big semi trailer and I'm sending this uh, I'm Sending a worker down to the cell point. It's just not working out with this small little trailer since it, it's not fully unloading the harvester and um, Just making things slow Yeah, this should make This go by a lot quicker That way we can keep the worker going and now have to stop and wait for me to come and unload it and so the worker made it down here, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this sold. All right, off goes the uh, tractor back to the farm. Uh, I am gonna pull up and probably unload the harvester. Looks like we're about halfway there, but uh, we still got quite a bit to go, so. Two full harvesters is um, one full semi-load, so uh, we should be able to get a full load here and head off to the cell point
So for a full load of this trade off this trailer, it's uh, thirteen thousand eight hundred, just under fourteen thousand. So we we might we're gonna make some decent amount of money, but uh, I think it might just cover all those <laughs> those mistakes we did by leasing the small wagon uh leasing this one well actually the small one was only like four hundred dollars but this one was like three four thousand uh we already covered this leasing cost Alright, so here we are. Uh, this is our second uh, load with the semi. We're just about done with the field. I, I think there's maybe, I think there's around two or three more uh, passes left with the harvester. So we're about done with that and then we can get it returned. We just got another 14,000 for this load. So we'll probably get another, another load, full load. And as soon as we get this field done, I'm gonna go ahead and start um, building here on the on the land next to the field that we have as well and uh, probably put down some sheds and the barns okay here we are uh, taking our last uh, little pass here I'm gonna drive alongside the harvester just so by the time we get to the end uh, we're all uh, emptied out and uh, so we can take our last load to to the cell point I did uh, lease this trailer, but I think I'm gonna hang on to it for another in-game day or two. I'm gonna do probably some contract work in the next episode, so stay tuned for that one. Okay, there we are. Field is all finished up. Um, I will return the harvester and get going on that uh, on the cow sheds. All right, so we managed to get another 11, 11,000 out of this last load. It wasn't a full load. So all together, I think we've, we've been able to put some money back in the bank. Okay, so I think I want to put an entrance, the entrance to the, to the land, probably around, somewhere around here. here I'm gonna have probably some bale storage along the trees here. Uh, as well as uh, storage for any tractors or equipment I will be keeping down here. So that leaves us with some room back here uh, to put one of the barns and right next to it uh, put the other one. Something else I forgot to mention was a a silage uh, bunker. I'm, I'll be putting down maybe one or two of those depending on the size that I get. So I have to 
just kind of figure out where I'm going to place that. I want to place it next to where I'll I'll be placing uh, hay and straw bales. That way I keep them all together when I'm so when I'm mixing feed and I don't have to be driving back and forth across the land here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set and uh, see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I'm all finished up uh, setting everything up here. Uh, so I guess that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.